Well, guys, I got to ask you some questions. I got to see if you're going to tell the truth. If not, I'll put the Lord on it. Okay? <laughs> Tony, I have a question for you. Tony, will you take Pam to be your wife? Will you commit to yourself to her happiness and her self-fulfillment as a person and to her usefulness in God's kingdom? And will you promise to love, to honor, to trust, to serve her in sickness and in health, in adversity and prosperity, and to be true and loyal to her so long as you both shall live? Pam, I have a question for you. Remember the answer that you're given is not unto me, it's unto God. Mm -hmm. Pam, do you promise? To take Tony to be your husband, will you commit yourself to his happiness, to his self-fulfillment as a person, and to his usefulness in God's kingdom? And will you promise to love him, honor, trust, serve him in sickness and in health, in adversity and in prosperity, and be true to him as long as you both shall live? The rings do I have the rings? We need to understand a lot of times that when we look at a ring, we're, we're mystified by how many carrots it is. Or, did it come from Lens or did it come from Corrigan's? And we look at that. But you know, that's going to last as far as you get to the door. But you got to understand what the significance of what this ring is all about. This ring is made of pure gold. And that is supposed to be the pure love that you have for each other. Second of all, it is a never-ending circle which is a sign for both of you, that means that your love will never end. Now, every time you look at this ring, it's a promise to what you made, not to us, not to each other, but it's to God, that you are making a vow and a commitment unto Him. So whenever you have a question in your marriage, you look at the ring, because the ring is the confidence and the trust that you have for each other because you have a trust now in God. And we, we pray for this. We are bringing the anointing in to give you the strength, to give you the symbol, and most of all, to give you the life that's going to be that will sustain your man. Let us pray. Father, we thank you right now for this ring that's a symbol of what marriage is all about. Father, we thank you right now that through this ring, going to give them the confidence, the trust, the hope, the stability to be able to stand from this day forward. And every time that they need a reminder of the love that they have for one another, they will look at this ring and through the power of the Holy Spirit, instantly they will be convicted to know there's no problem too large. There's no barrier that they can't get over. And there's nothing that the three of you cannot do together. We thank you for this moment in time. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Tell me if you'll take this ring, take her right in. And when you finish, we'll place it on. With this ring, I pledge my life, my love, my hope for you from this day forward. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Now y'all join hands. This other hand. I want you to look in each other's eyes. Father, we just ask you right now, Holy Spirit, fall on them. We can't say now from this day forward, forever, forever. Father, we seal it today. We give this marriage back to you because there's nothing that the three of you can't 
can't do together. Father, we are going to take you up on your promise that you said you would never leave them nor forsake them. Father, in your word in Hebrews 11 and 1, we speak great days, great matters, long life, and much love for Tony and Pam from this day forward. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, Tony and Pam, we've made it to this point. And after all my years of being here, I can never say this enough. By the power of the state of Texas, and most of all, the divine power, I now pronounce you man and wife. But God no man shall separate from this day forward. And as a sign of your trust in God, you may now salute your bride. Tony Wise. Yeah.